So today I'm talking about white chestnut. White chestnut is a brilliant remedy for if you have a busy mind and your mind keeps going over and over and over things and it can't let it go. When your mind just feels like there's like a hamster on a wheel going over and over those thoughts and it can't calm things down. So if you want some more information on this, page 469 is the page in Free to Be Me. It comes under insufficient interest in present circumstances. So often when things going on around them are more distracting than what they're meant to be doing, thoughts are going over and over in the mind. And they will constantly be thinking, 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 and regurgitating that thought, literally. It's almost like, Ugh, it's coming up, coming up, coming up. Can't stop it. And you can feel that thought is coming up, and then it subsides, and then it comes up, and then it subsides. But it's there, it keeps reoccurring. And the problem comes when it's getting on your nerves. Sometimes we need to process thoughts. White chestnut will help to calm your thoughts, to keep things in perspective or bring them back to perspective. But what will happen often, those thoughts are just repetitive. You keep going over and over and over and you can't let them go. And remember, every thought you're having has a neurological response and even an emotional response. So those thoughts keep going over and over in your mind can be detrimental to your feelings of well-being. You feel tired, you feel worn out, you can be weary. You feel like it's almost like, oh, just shut my mind off. I just want to shut it off. Well, white chestnut will help with that. It will help to calm your mind. But I would suggest to also write things down. Empty your head. Get out, go for a walk in nature. Maybe talk things through with a friend. Release those thoughts from your mind and you can start to have a calmer mind. Meditation can help. Just gentle, deep breathing exercises, which we can do in a moment, will help. But what happens when you're in this state, it's almost like an intense thought process and you've gone over. And you'll find it's the same thoughts gone over. And it's almost like you just want to shut it out, but it keeps reoccurring. Shut it out, keeps recurring. You can't let it go. And white chestnut will help you to find that calmer mind. But I would suggest let's process it. Let's get those thoughts out of your head. And what are you thinking about right now that you need to let go of? Is it necessary to be holding those thoughts? Do you want that calmer, peaceful mind? Or do you want them to keep going over and over? For some people, it's such a way of life, maybe they're happy with that. But often it's unwanted thoughts. They're worrying, distressing thoughts that you don't want to be thinking about. And that's what causes the problem. Because remember, there's an emotional attachment to every thought you have. If you can peel that back and go, what's important to be thinking about right now and what's not? Will make a difference to the quality of your day and your life. So empty your thoughts onto paper, write them down. Go out for a walk, clear your mind for a little while. Just let your mind go quiet. Listen to nature. Listen to the breeze and the trees and the birds singing. Just breathe into those thoughts. And let them go. So imagine for a moment that you're walking along. Breathing into those thoughts and blow them away. Shake them out, shake them, there. let go of that stress on your shoulder. Just shake them out and let go. Oh, let it go. Because your mind doesn't want to be holding on to these thoughts unless they're a priority. But often those things that you're thinking about aren't a priority anymore. They just become a distressing thought. Do it again. Breathe into your mind. Maybe see the colour in your mind. Gather those thoughts up. They're a beautiful bubble of light. And let them wash away. Shake them out. Give them back to the earth. She needs all the manure she can get right now. Go out and stamp your feet on the ground. Shake off your shoulders. Recognise if you're carrying stress. Let it go. Let it go. 
And if your mind is too busy, remember the figure A exercise will help calm your mind and bring you from logic mind to calm mind. Logic mind to calm mind. Or shutting the world out and de-stressing your mind if you're tapping. Such gentle, gentle ways that you can do it naturally. One thing I would add here, and I haven't mentioned it on the last few videos, drink more water. Because overthinking really does distress your mind. Dis, distress, D-I-S. Not de-stress, it distresses the mind. And that can actually be draining on the rest of your body. So drinking water can help re-energise your body. But you do need sometimes to just to go to that place where maybe the remedy, take it. Or, what can I do for me today? Page 469, read up on this one. Because if you've got to that place where you feel like you're a hamster on a wheel, your mind won't shut up. The white chestnut will help, but there are some natural ways you can help yourself. Often for me, I would sing a song to myself, just because it rises me up above the vibration. What I was thinking about, sing that song over and over. Comes me and brings me to a better place. Maybe chanting. Om. Or. A-I-O-U. Letting those thoughts out of your body. Give your mind a space to be. And you will have a more contented day. Thank you.